It looks like there could be an answer to tackling the humanitarian and economic problems that are plaguing the Gaza Strip, and at first glance, that answer looks pretty luxurious. No, that's not a luxury offshore development that you're looking at. Instead, it could be the floating future of the Gaza Strip, an artificial island just three miles off of the coast of the enclave that would be home to cargo and passenger ports, operation and management facilities, gas installations, and even a water desalination plant. Plus, it would even have enough space to host an airstrip. Israel's intelligence and transport minister Yisrael Katz is the man behind the $5 million initiative, which would be financed by the international community. Today, Israel continues to be perceived as being responsible for the Gaza Strip and is, to a large extent, the only lifeline to it, even though it withdrew from the Strip over a decade ago. Construction of an artificial island with a port and civilian infrastructure installations off the coast of Gaza will provide the Palestinians a humanitarian, economic, and transportation gateway to the world without endangering Israel's security. There are almost 2 million people living in the Gaza Strip, and residents have long described the coastal enclave as an open-air prison. There used to be an airport, but it's since been destroyed during eight years of fighting between Hamas and Israel. And for Gazan fishermen trying to make a living, money can be hard to make when they're only allowed to venture a few nautical miles offshore. Restrictions like that are largely due to Israeli security concerns. The Hamas terror rulers of the Gaza Strip pledged to do everything in their power to destroy Israel, and the Jewish state must protect every one of its borders. But Minister Israel Katz says Israel must find a way to help Gazan civilians in need, and an artificial island is the answer. I don't have any illusion about the Hamas. We know who is the Hamas, who is Ikhya Senuar, and the other people there. But I'm trying to separate between the civilian problems and military problems. It's difficult, but I think that we can do it very carefully, but we can do it. For those Israelis worried about the security concerns, Katz has the answer. If an artificial island were to be created, Israel would remain in control of the security in the sea around the island and would also be responsible for security inspections in the port. Plus, a drawbridge on the road connecting the island to the Gaza Strip could be disconnected should the need arise. Israel and Egypt have imposed blockades on the Gaza Strip since Hamas took control in 2007, but it looks like an artificial island could be the key to providing Palestinians with a humanitarian, economic, and transportation gateway to the world without endangering Israel's security. Hamas has not officially responded to the idea.